Hello, my name is Amina LaCour and I'm the elementary principal at the Met. I'm going to be talking to you about reading with your child as part of our home learning reading initiative. In elementary school, your child's teacher has assigned 15, 20, or 30 minutes of reading every night depending on the grade level. In this video, we are going to talk about what parents can do to make sure home learning really helps your child become a better reader. The first thing you should do is sit side by side while your child reads. Although it may be tempting to try to get other work done, the point of this home learning is to have an adult follow along. This way you can give your child immediate feedback when he or she needs it. Number two, don't tell the words. To learn how to decode words on their own, children need lots of time to think about what they see. If you jump in to say the word, your child will miss the learning that comes from that struggle. Sometimes all you need to do is wait quietly to let your child figure out the word. Number three, move beyond sound it out. Just trying to sound out a word letter by letter is not the most effective way to figure out what the word is. Here are a few strategies your child is learning at school to decode words that you can also use at home. One way is to think of similar words. If your child is trying to read the word rock, point out it has a lot of the same letters as sock, a word she or he already knows. Thinking of similar words, will help your child guess the right pronunciation. Chunking the letters is another strategy rather than trying to sound out each individual letter. Finally, allow your child to use the pictures in the book. Never cover up the pictures. They are important tools to help your child figure out the words independently. You may want to cover up a part of a word to chunk it. Number four, have your child reread some passages for fluency. If your child is only sounding out individual words, he or she won't really get the meaning of the sentence. For the words to make sense together, they need to be read smoothly. So if your child takes a while to get through a particular sentence, have your child go back and reread to have it make more sense. Careful not to overdo it. Asking your child to repeat many sentences will drive your child crazy. If your child is struggling through most of the book, it's probably not the right one. Let your child's teacher know to find something better suited for your child's independent reading level. Number five, allow some mistakes to go uncorrected. It's not necessary to correct every single error your child makes. Because your child may be putting a lot of concentration into decoding more complex words, a common mistake can be to substitute more simple words like the instead of a or an. Once your child gets the more complex words right, you can focus on having your child read each word smoothly and correctly. Number six, allow your child to read the same book multiple times. If your child reads one book on Monday and then again on Tuesday, that's okay. With each successive read, your child will get better at reading fluency, and by the end of the week, your child should easily be able to recognize words she or he struggled with at the beginning. Finally, number seven, you should keep reading to your child. We encourage you to read in your home language. Just because your child is still learning to read on their own does not mean that your child can't learn from listening to you read. By continuing to read to your child for pleasure, you model correct pacing reading with expression, and a love of books that will help your child become a lifelong reader.